Hello and welcome back to the channel, it's Echo Stretch. In this video I'm going to show you how we can bring back games in our library that aren't showing up in the, the list. This could be done by Kernel Panic. Uh, sometimes a Kernel Panic can cause it. Uh, but for, for me, I was playing around with the, the files in uh, on the system through FTP. But yeah, let's just jump right into it. I'll show you in the library that uh, we don't have any... Uh, we don't have any of our games. If I go over to settings and I go to storage, I'll just give this a moment. There we go. Go in here. We go into apps. So it's 588 gigs and uh, yeah, 19 gigabytes is uh, in other. So we're missing like 560 gigs of games in there that aren't showing up. There's two ways we can do this here. So let's jump into our first way. Okay, so if we do have a backup, we can do a restore. I know most people probably don't have a backup. We don't really go over it in the channel. Um, but if you don't have a backup now, you should probably get a backup just so that way you will always have it. We will be doing a backup after I get everything fixed. Um, I just so happened to install 7.55 today. And uh, I did a fresh install, I should say. And I started installing my apps and games again. And then uh, I went into FTP and started playing around with the uh, user settings in there. And that's where I messed up. Um, but yeah, this is option one that we can do to fix it if you do have a backup, a most recent backup. But uh, yeah, I don't. So second option is with a computer. It's, a, it's just as easy, but you need to have a computer. Um, but let's just jump over. We're going to need our IP address. Um, just enable the network should get you your IP address. It should say FTP, whichever. Um, but uh, another way is just to go into your view connection status, and we can see my IP address is 10.0.0.231. So we'll remember that. And let's jump over to the computer. Okay, so now that we're over to the computer, we will need to download a program called Python. I will leave a link in the, the description. As well, we'll need PS4 database rebuilder. I'll also leave that link in the description as well. It is a zip file, so once we do get it uh, extracted, we will need the fixedb.py. Uh, we can just go ahead and just go up here to our window here, and we'll just type in PowerShell. Bring that up. Now to execute it, we will just need to type in py for python and then we'll type in fix underscore db dot py py and then our IP address which is 10.0.0.231 go ahead and hit enter and as you can see it is finding everything that uh, that is there and it was pretty quick we are done now we can jump over to the ps4 Okay, so now that we're over to the PS4, uh, you can see that it's not added back yet. But our, our games are there, which is good. Um, I think that we can actually bring them out here as well. If we just uh, just launch our browser and we just, just close it out. And yeah, there we go. There's all our games. Okay, so before in the video, I just wanted to show you that we can go ahead and back up just so we have a backup and we don't have to do that again. Um, you should do it every once in a while. If you change any games or anything on your system you change, you should do a backup. And it's pretty simple. You can just plug in a USB drive and just hit backup. So I will show you. It's waiting for payload. Launching the payload. backing up to USB and it shouldn't take too long at all just give it a few seconds and uh, it should it should be done okay and the drive is still flashing so okay and there we go USB backup complete but that's basically it for the video. If you did like it, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.